<laughs> this is so weird. This is the first semester I've ever done it. We had one other teacher with an engineering student do it last semester, but he was the first averaging was stacked in class. So this is all me. Um, we're gonna try. <laughs> How it goes. We're gonna get through. I think there are seven people in this on this space. Okay, let's see if I can. Did you have a question? Oh, I heard somebody saying something. Okay, let's see if I can start. Oh, wow, it's all the way over there. Oh, my goodness, this is going to be frustrating. I'm going to have to come in here. That's better. Okay, so let's see. We'll go back. Okay, let's see. Um, can you guys hear me? Yes, ma'am. Um, yes. Um, yes, ma'am. Okay. Can you see what's on the screen and the camera? Far away, but yes, it's visible. Okay, what I need you to do is go to my camera, and if you see the little three dots, click them, and then click where it says pin. Morning. Morning. Are you Alexandra? Yes. Y'all have so many names. You know, they're right. Y'all have an Alexander and Alexandria, and Adriana and Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> so Alejandro, <laughs> which is basically like a Spanish version of the host. <laughs> and, <then laughs> and I have another class where it's like just J, 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 J. Everybody starts with J. Okay. Um, let me see, guys. Okay. So um, the people on Zoom, just to let you know, I kind of mentioned it to the people that are sitting in front of me that you did register for what is called a stacked course. So what that means is that it's one course, but you guys are split up into three groups. So about seven of you guys are in remote, about eight of you guys are in person, and then I have about, I think, another seven or so online only. Okay, And so it's kind of a mix of people <laughs> all together. And the first time that this was ever attempted was last semester with an engineering class. He seemed to be okay with it. I might have to go pick his brain because I didn't have time to do that for summer. They gave me this class on Thursday. I had to like push out whatever I could push out <laughs> between Thursday and today. And so I haven't had a chance to play around with the camera. I literally just learned how to move it from side to side right now. So, <laughs> so that's where we are right now, okay? Um, you'll have to bear with me. I promise I will get to the calculus stuff <laughs> and you guys will be fine. Um, speaking of the calculus stuff, I do have, is another thing that I tried last year and I did it throughout the whole year. And that was to implement what is called active learning versus just the static, I give you lecture, I talk, you ask questions if you have them, if you can even think of anything to ask at that moment, right? Um, and then you go off and you do the work by yourself, right? That's traditionally how the classes function, okay? However, I tried it in the last year to switch it up. And what it's called is it's called flipping the classroom. And so essentially what I have you guys do is I have you go watch the lesson. I'm recording myself, so it's not another person. It's not like you're watching random YouTube videos. They're my YouTube videos. <laughs> and you watch the lesson, and then you watch me work out examples. And then you could even go and try the homework if you wanted to and see if you can make sense of it all or get stuck on stuff. And then you can come back to class and we're actually gonna be doing more hands-on problems in class, okay? And for the, those of you that are in class, what I will have you do is I'll have you work on problems in small groups because we're in small group period, right? <laughs> so I'll have you probably in pairs or maybe in threes and depending on if there's someone absent or not. And then what you do is you work on problems. I'll check to make sure that everybody you know, understands what they're doing, they got the idea. And then what you'll do is you'll come up here and I have this lovely document camera right here. And you can show your paper and your solution and kind of walk us all through it and it'll work like that. Now, the great thing about this is it is a switch, okay? So it is a big switch from just doing all of the homework on your own to now watching the lectures on your own, okay? But from my past experience, students rather do that than be doing the homework by themselves. So they'd rather go watch a video and then just be like, yeah, I learned this, or hey, I didn't understand this part of the video. And then come into class and actually do the problems, okay? Versus 
me talking and talking and talking, and then you trying to figure out how to get problems on your own. Okay. Um, not only that, but as I have had 100% pass rate with my classes that have been doing the active learning. Okay. So as long as people are participating, it does work. You do learn. Okay. Um, and I mean, like, nobody got less than a B kind of pass rates. Okay. So they were doing great. And that's why I'm, my data is now forcing the whole entire department to switch gears. And so now all of the math classes have some kind of element of active learning now because of the success that we've been doing last year in my classes. Okay. So it's really, really good stuff, but it does take you guys to buy into it. Okay. So it does take you guys to go watch those lecture videos beforehand. Because if you don't watch the lecture videos beforehand, when you come to class, you have absolutely no idea what we're talking about. Okay. I will provide formula sheets for the people that are in the face to face. For the people that are in the on, on this remote part, you guys will get a um, like a document, a PDF file of the same um, formulas. So whatever formulas that came from the discussions that you did the night before, all of those formulas I will have with you. So you'll see like these lengthy notes while I'm going over the video. You do not need to sit there and try to jot down everything that's in that video, okay? I will have formula sheets for you. <laughs> it will summarize everything and you'll have that available while we work on the problems in person, okay? So I don't want you to think that everything that's in that video you have to scribble down, okay? Because of it working like that, um, we are going to have our first homework, I guess, which would be tonight or tomorrow because you have two days, right? Can I see you again? Um, and so then, but there are three videos because right now we're in chapter five and all of this chapter five material should have been the last few sections that you did in count one. Okay, so it's literally just a review before we keep going. I don't want to keep going without this review. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna have three sections. Hopefully they're just nothing but just to refresh you of how to take an integral, what, that, what an integral is and all of that good stuff. And then we'll start getting into the new stuff. So I don't think that the new stuff is going to happen for us until we get to like 5.6 or something. Now, for the online, I keep saying online, but that's different, right? For your remote guys, what I need you to do is if you see my screen, I'm going to just use one of these screens and I'm actually not going to use the remote class. I'm going to use, oh my goodness. Okay. I'm actually going to use the in-person one, but the remote one is not much different. Okay. Uh, but what I do need you to do is find the Canvas course. And if you can, you should see like our reactions on your Zoom. And give me a thumbs up if you can find the class in Canvas. If you have questions on how to find it, let me know. You should have because you had to have clicked the Zoom link to get here. <laughs> but let me know with a thumbs up if you've got in here. This is so weird. Okay, I've got two thumbs up, three thumbs up. And I have to fix my computer, guys, because I'm just going to let you guys know what you are seeing on my board. I cannot see except also on my board. It is not on my computer. <laughs> so I don't know how to navigate within this. It's so weird. Okay, now. For you guys on the Zoom, what I want you to do is I want you to go to your course syllabus. If you see here on the top left, click on that. And then you're going to see yours. So this is for section two. You should see yours for section four. Okay. So they did separate them by section. And I'm going to hand that out to the base in the two. Okay, so I gave you guys a lot of documents, but it is all on here. <laughs> I just wanted to separate things. Um, 
So in the first document, what you're seeing is that the my office hours. So if you were to go on to my office physically on campus, you would see this right outside my door. This is just my schedule. Um, I don't have one for the guys in Zoom. Um, you guys probably won't be actually visiting me in person, but you may. I don't know. The same information is on the syllabus right underneath, um, right here where it says office hours. Okay. So my office hours are 8 a.m. to 10 a.m., which is just before this class. And then again, I always want to have some kind of availability for people who do stuff in the afternoon, especially like the online and remote people. Um, they might be remoting in because they have work or other obligations, right? So I always try to leave something in the afternoon for those people. So between 7 and 7.30 is another chunk of time that I'm available to ask questions and things like that, okay? Now, I do do these as one-on-one uh, -on -one sessions. I don't know how to get, somebody is chatting in the remote and I cannot click on my chat in the remote because of the way this computer is set up. Um, so whatever it is that you said in the chat, if you don't remind mind coming off of mute and then asking whatever question it was that you put in the chat. I do not have access to that chat. Oh, never mind. I got it. Oh, somebody gave me thumbs up. <laughs> okay, that's what that. I thought it was a question. Guys, for you that are in the remote class um, in Zoom, if you do have a question, please, please, please come off of me. Okay, anyone can ask questions at any time, regardless if you're in Zoom or in person. Okay, you can just jump right in. And that goes throughout the entire semester. It doesn't matter if I'm in the middle of talking about a theorem, just interrupt me. What I'm saying doesn't make sense, okay? Feel free to interrupt at any point in time. This class is for you, not for me, right? <laughs> I'll make it about you, okay? Um, so I do have those office hours, and that's exactly what you saw on this little paper, okay? We will be meeting Monday and Wednesday, so make sure you do come again, right, on Wednesday. It's not just Mondays. It's Monday and Wednesday from 10 to 11.50. Uh, because of the whole computer situation right now, today, I hope to get this computer situation resolved before Wednesday. We may take that amount of time just because I'm having to maneuver around all of this, okay? I hope not, but we may, okay? Normally, my first class, we don't take the whole two hours in orientation. Okay, so your textbook, you do have access to this textbook. And if I go into, uh, let me see if it will let me get back there. It goes. If I click on modules instead of course syllabus, now those of you in Zoom, you do not need to click on module. Um, I'm just clicking on it to show you. If I scroll down, you will see the ebook right there. Okay. It's also inside every single assignment. Okay, so every section, of course, we're going to cover it, right? And then you're going to go through an assignment inside what's called WebAssign. And all of those WebAssign assignments have links to the textbook inside of this as well. Okay, so if you want to go see the book, you don't have to come to this link. But if you just wanted to go straight to the book, this link is here for you. Okay, the one above it is grayed out. So you should not be seeing that other one uh, because that is my link. To access the class. So, like when I want to get to the grade book and stuff like that, that's how I access website. So, that one you should not have access to. And it says it's unpublished, so you should not <laughs> be able to see it at all. Um, but the textbook has already been paid for. When you paid your tuition and fees, it was part of the fees. And so, you don't have to pay anything else extra. It's already covered. And my goal by the end of today is to get both the people in person and the people in Zoom inside with the sign before you leave, okay? Um, and so I'm gonna just gloss over all of these, the description and the outcomes. We're gonna learn calculus and it's how to, so most likely lots and lots and lots and lots of integrals, lots of integrals, crazy integrals, okay? <laughs> Some really cool stuff, but if you're a nerd, it's really cool. <laughs> if you're not, you're like, whatever. <laughs> Okay, so for evaluation, I did mention to you guys that it was going to be like a flipped classroom, right? Where you go and you look at these videos, 
you're going to comment on a discussion um and then we'll come to class and we'll do actual problems okay and hopefully with the problems that you've seen in the videos and the problems that we do in class because we'll do more of the harder ones in class the easier ones are the ones that are in the videos um and then hopefully with all that together you should be able to complete the whole entire assignment okay with no issues and if there are issues you always bring them with you okay and we'll talk about it. so i wanted to make sure that i made every single piece worth doing okay so yes i need you guys to buy in right so i need you guys to watch those videos i need you guys to be talking and communicating with each other and me so i wanted to make sure that i included those on the grade book so if you look at the breakdown in the syllabus it does say that the discussion stuff is 10 percent of your grade so each time you comment on those discussions it's going to rack up a grade and that's your discussion grade, okay um there's no I, I have to be careful here. <laughs> I don't want to say there's no right or wrong responses because there are wrong responses. If I can tell that you're just trying to comment just to comment and you didn't actually watch the videos, I will make you comment more elaborately okay, and more specifically. I won't check it and give you the grade yet until I actually can tell that you've been watching it. Okay, So make sure that you're specific when you watch the videos. Like The, the key thing on the discussions is always going to be either tell me something you learned like a summary of something you learned or ask a question about something that wasn't clear or you got confused on, okay? And the, the confusion ones are more important to me than you understanding everything, right? Because the confusion ones give me teaching moments in the class. So stuff that people are stuck on, that helps me so I know what to focus on when we come to class, okay? So I do look at these, they're always due the night before our class. So for class on Wednesday, the discussions will be due on Tuesday night. Okay. So you watch them Tuesday night, you comment in your discussion, I'll read them early Monday or Wednesday morning, and then I'll know what we're going to do on that Wednesday morning. Okay. I have backup problems that I, <laughs> that I want to cover, but if there's something extra, then we'll bring that to the table for sure. Okay. Um, and then, of course, you have your web assign assignments. So hopefully with everything that you've gotten from the videos and from us in class, hopefully that will be enough for you guys to um, figure out how to do all of the assignment on web assignment, okay? Uh, we do have test reviews, and I cannot tell you how important the test reviews are in preparation for the test. They are pretty much very similar problems, um, except there's more problems on the review than there are on the test. But I do pick similar ones from the ones on the review to put them on the test. Now, that doesn't mean there's not any curveballs. I do have to make sure that your gears are turning, okay? So I might throw in a problem or two every now and then that we might not have covered, but I want to see how far you can think through it, okay? Um, that's just so that I can test where your critical thinking is at and putting everything all together and that kind of stuff, okay? So it's not me trying to be sneaky or anything like that, but it's just a whole nother focus of, of uh, teaching and learning, okay? Um, and then, of course, the tests, they're also 10% each. I didn't want to wait them too, too much, especially since the bulk of our learning is going to be happening during the lesson and not necessarily during the test, okay? So they're not as heavy. The final exam, I have no choice. It has to be a minimum of 15% <laughs> of your grade. Um, usually on the online classes, it's 20% of the grade, but the basic things I was allowed to go as low as 15%, okay? So that's where we are with the breakdown for the class. Now your grade books will always be in Canvas. So if you see in Canvas and you see the little icon that says grades um, up there, I don't think my mouse there goes. Oh my God, where is it going? So right here where it says grades, that's where you will um, see everything for all of your grades. And then there's not much in there right now because I have seven classes by the way, seven. <laughs> I have seven classes and I got them with Thursday. So between Thursday and this morning, I had to put together seven whole classes and cap it. So they have the bare minimum right now. <laughs> I need to keep working on them to get more and more stuff on it. The online classes have more just because they're online classes and they have to have everything in there. So those have more, but my face to face, I'm like, mm, I'm just going to get what I need for today. <laughs> and then I'll work on the rest of it tomorrow <laughs> or actually later today. So you might see stuff growing in there, but right now it's fair minimum. Okay. Um, it says here now for the policy, it, I did talk about that. It says um, 
that you do have to do the class discussions. They should be done the day before. So I always put the due date the night before the actual class where we're going to talk about that stuff. Okay, so it's always in that situation. And then uh, class participation is also required. Again, we're going to put you guys in small groups. Even the people in Zoom, I will be putting in small groups. You will guys be working on a problem in Zoom. And then uh, you guys will use a whiteboard to present your solution as far and the face to face because you use the document camera. But we'll all be sharing and learning together. Um, the web assignment assignment policy is just letting you know that it's 50% of your grade, it's the homework, it's where you do all the work, right? So it should be worth a little bit extra. Now let's see reviews, test policies. Okay, test policy is going to be different for this, you guys, for your portion, and then for the remote portion. So for your portion, your class, your exams, test exams, whatever you want to call them, they're in class in person, right? During class time. For the remote class, I can't manage what they're doing in class while I'm managing what y'all are doing in class. So what they're going to be doing is they're going to be taking their classes online, their tests online. Now, because they're a remote, they already are required to have like laptops and cameras and things like that, right? But you as a face-to-face -face class are not required to have your own laptop with a webcam and internet and all of that good stuff because you're in a face-to-face -face class, right? But you still have the option, okay? So if come test day, you prefer to take it using what's called Respondent Lockdown Browser, and you prefer to take your test through that proctoring situation, you can, um, but it's an option and it's not required for the in-person people, okay? It is required for the Zoom people because that's the only way I can monitor what they're doing. It basically records, you've got the uh, Zoom people, it records you, and then I get to watch it later to make sure nobody was doing anything crazy, right? Um, which is fun. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's worse when there's like 30 people in the class because I can only watch four people at the same time. So I usually have four people on my screen and I'm just watching and it flags you sometimes. So I try to go to the flags and whatnot. But when there's 30, I literally have to sit there for like 10 hours and go through all the videos. It's ridiculous. So luckily it's just a little bit. <laughs> it's not as bad. Um, but that is different on your test policy. So Eventually, I will share the uh, remote people's test policy with you guys in person, just so that you can see what are all the requirements to take the test online in case that was an option for you. If you'd rather do that. Okay. Um, on those. Sorry. Excuse me. So the test would be during class time or well, it's no. like, no. If you're okay. The test uh, remote or online. Mm -hmm. then able to take the test at any point in time on that day. Okay, I see. It would just have to be taken before 11.59 p.m. So even the in-person people, if you like absolutely need an extra couple of hours to study, you could take it in the afternoon versus having to take this. Okay. okay, great. Thanks. Thanks for asking. Okay, now there is tutoring. They do have tutoring for the people who are in person. It's right across the hallway. Right for the people in Zoom, they we do have what's called virtual math world. And if you see on my screen, I'm kind of putting my little mouse cursor over it. Um, if you go there, they do have a, a Zoom link where you can go in and Zoom with the tutor. Okay, and you guys have that as well. In person, people, you have that same button on your Canvas. Okay, I'm actually in your Canvas, so that's that's it. Um, and so you can click on that virtual thing and they'll be able to text, uh, text you and help you. There's also another one called BrainFuse, but I think you have a limited amount of hours with BrainFuse. Whereas with MathWorld, there's no limit to how many times you can go. I guess unless they get tired and you out, right? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't happen though. <laughs> but with the BrainFuse, it will not let you access it anymore after so many hours. I think it's 10 hours if I'm not mistaken. Okay. And that goes for all subjects, not just math. So if you're having to go and use brain views for science or computers or whatever other classes, it does eat at those 10 hours. Okay? But there are those two things available. Um, now the timeline. For the in-person people, I wanted to give you a whole separate document. For the remote people, the timeline is inside of the syllabus. Okay, you just have to scroll or click where it says schedule and it will jump right to the timeline. 
And so if you notice on week one on Monday, there's already stuff you gotta do at home, right? It says you need to uh, view the lecture videos and comment on the discussions for those three sections. Those three sections should have been covered in count one, so it shouldn't be too, too much, okay? Uh, when we get to the next class period, you'll have like another two days, right? Until Friday to watch those videos, 5.4, 5.5, and 5.6. Now 5.4 should also be reviewed, but 5.5 and 5.6 may or may not be new to you. Okay, so that's where we're actually start our new course material. Okay. And then after that, it's not as bad. It's only two sections per class period because we have two hours. Okay. It doesn't take me two hours to cover one section. <laughs> it takes me about an hour to cover one section. Okay. So typically after that, it's about two sections per class period. Um, I think once we start getting down to the very, very end, we do start to spread the load a little bit and then it becomes one section. And that starts on week 11. So week 11, we're only doing one per class period. And, um, I like to start off hard <laughs> and really push you guys. And then at the end, things should get easy before you have to come and take that final exam. Right? So that final exam is, is <laughs> that's the thing, right? Everybody really afraid of that one. So I try to lighten it up a little bit before we get to that point. Okay. Yes. <laughs> it's just because the final exam is always comprehensive. So it's like everything. Like, how do I remember everything, right? It's <laughs> so little by little, we'll be going along the way. I will, well, not I will, but math in general works that way. It, it's like you learn something, but then you use that thing to do the next thing, right? Hey, how are you? Good. Are you? Good. What's up? Oh no, go to the nurse during that SLC. Yeah, no. Well, take care. Yes, you too. Good to see you. Here's one of my old students. I'm just kidding. Um, here's one of my old students. I told you I had 100% pass rate, but he was one of the ones in, in that class. And my class was two classes in one, and they still all passed the A to B, so yay for that. Um, but yeah, and then we turned out, we figured out that he literally lives like across the street. Across the street from the subdivision that I live in. <laughs> and I was like, dude, I could have been taking you to school the whole time. Because <laughs> you'd be like, oh, I didn't even over right. I was like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not supposed to do that. <laughs> There's like all kinds of liabilities there, but anyway. Um, so for Canvas, since I'm in the in person one, it looks very similar for the remote class. The only thing different is that the remote class would have had a Zoom, a Zoom link at the very, very top. And it just says, click here to join class. That's the only thing different between theirs and yours, okay? Um, but if you notice, there's a couple of things that I'm gonna have you guys do for the rest of the class period. It's taken me about 30 minutes to like get all of this out. <laughs> and now we're actually gonna do some stuff, okay? So for those of you that are remote and in person, I do need you to log into Canvas and access our class in Canvas. If you're already there, then I need you to click on that first item that the student teacher contact user in mind. Now, this is basically for me to be able to text your cell phone and you to be able to text my cell phone without either of us knowing what each other's phone numbers are, okay? So it keeps that level of privacy, but it lets me contact you and lets you contact me whenever you need to. Even if it's at 10 o'clock at night and you're like, Miss, I'm stuck. If I'm awake, I'll answer, <laughs> okay? Um, yes, yes. Yes, I, I got it all so <laughs> But it, it helps. It also helps if for some reason there's an accident on the way over here and somebody can't make it or if something happens to me and I can't make it or I want to give you a heads up there's going to be a sub or something. I do not like subs. I would try to avoid subs at all costs. But every now and then life happens. You never know, right? <laughs> but this does help us so that we can um, communicate like that. Okay. If I grade tests or something like that, and I just want to let you guys know they're all graded, go check them out, right? Then um, I will send a text and say, hey, all the tests are graded. Okay. Um, but it's just to help us. Now, there's a little video, you can watch it. It's not going to know if you watch it or not. <laughs> but it just basically tells you what it is, and it uses a third party to help us connect. Okay. Um, and then down here, you should have a link. Now, for the people in front of me, yours should say section 002. 
For those of you doing this uh, in Zoom, yours should say section 004. But regardless of what section it is, you're going to click where it says join class. And then you're going to type in your full name. And then you're going to type in your cell phone number. Now it does, excuse me, it does give you the option to email, but that defeats the purpose of setting this up. Because if you're going to go check your email, then you can just go check my email. But who's going to go check their email like right before class to know what's going on? Normally, that's not a habit of anybody. <laughs> so this will just send you directly to your cell phone. If you don't have a cell phone, which is very rare nowadays, but every now and then you come across people who don't have a cell phone, you can use your email address. But you will be responsible for checking that email address to be aware of whatever has been sent out. Okay? It's just easier if you use your cell phone. Once you're done, you just click sign up. And then it should notify me that you are in. As soon as everyone is in, we will continue. I'm sorry, ma'am. Where was the link to the remind? It just just has like a link to a quiz right right here. I don't see. The quiz, and then you click begin quiz, and then the first question is that video, and then the second question is where you click join class. Oh, thank you. And I definitely need to fix this camera because it looks like it's chopping off like the very top of my screen. So I'm going to get with with the IT people. You do see this board though, right? The remote people, you see this board really, really well. Imagine the screen not being there. Like this one you can see. And then I think, sure. not this one, only up to here to allow you to see it. So um, if we needed a new board work, I would definitely be concentrating on doing this one. Um, and I think it cuts you off at the board. So you still should be able to see everything on the board within that parameter. Um, yeah, I do do, you will be up out of your seat sometimes. They're not gonna just be sitting down every single day. <laughs> we will get to learn from each other very much, a little bit more. Um, eventually I'll have you guys all introduce yourself, right? Everybody doesn't wanna do that, but <laughs> I'll make you do it. <laughs> just cause I wanna get to know you guys. Um, and then, so let me see how many people have got all signed up. Yes, click on join class and then it should let you type in your whole name and then your um your cell phone number. Okay, so for the remote class, I have whole name. Oh, <laughs> Sam Austin. Yes, Sam Austin. What should it be? Edwards. Edwards, okay. You can put Edwards on. I don't know who it is. It's only a little bit. No, it's okay. Okay, so for the online, I have Trevor signed up. I have Alma. Oh, Victoria. Hi, Victoria. I remember your name. You were in an online class with me. Okay. And I am still missing Justin and Jamie. So make sure you guys get in there and yeah, I'm on it. I'm working on it. Okay, perfect. Let me go check on the in-person class real quick. So we got Edwards, we got how do you say your last name and underdog? Okay. You like close enough. Okay, so I am waiting for Alexander and Alejandro. Yeah, I have an account for but Oh yeah, I can do the class code. I think the class code is the M. 
And then for you, the in person would be 2414002. That's what I do. That's your last year. Yeah. I know you guys on the Zooms can't see it, but the class code would be a capital M. And then two four one four zero zero four. If you're having to type in a class code. I will definitely be needing to use the board then. This is the way the class is set up. So I'll probably open the Zoom, but then we'll be at the board. And you guys always come off of me and we have a question. And don't forget to come off of me because I know I did that in Zoom classes myself. I know we were talking in the you notes know, <laughs> because I forgot to unmute. Okay, let's see. Let's go back to see. So that one I have Jaime or Jamie. Is it Jaime or Jamie? Um, it's, it's Hyman, but my friends just call me Jamie. So either or whichever I feel like saying that thing. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's fine. I'll answer it both. <laughs> okay. I'll just say your last name. Last name's more fun anyway. Okay. Um, I'm still waiting for Justin on the remote. Okay. Oh, gotcha. Justin's in there now to game. Okay, now let me check. Just finished. <laughs> okay, we got Alexander and we got Awesome. Okay, perfect. So then let me get out of here. And if you're in here, let me at the bottom, it has a little checkbox. If you just click that little checkbox and then click submit quiz, it'll mark it complete for you. Not that that's that big of a deal. As long as you signed up, it's a big deal. <laughs> so let me exit out of here. Oh God, I went all the way up. <laughs> so let's go back to modules. Okay, now the next thing you should see on your modules is where it says click here to activate SyncAge. Do not go too far without me, okay? Because there's a lot of specific steps you have to take and if you don't take them correctly, it will lock you and then we have to contact support and get it unlocked and it causes all the drama, okay? So follow with me. Don't move ahead as much as you might want to, especially for those of us that are faster, right? You're like, I know what to do, blah, blah, blah. No, don't do it. <laughs> okay. So if you click on that link, it should have you click. I know you can't see it in Zoom, but at the top of my screen, it says load in a new window. And I'm going to click that. Here, let me click the stalker so that way the stock is Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, it, and it's automatic. Okay. <laughs> so, okay, so you might see this screen first. Ignore this. Just press the X if you see this first. Um, Alejandro, right? You're Alejandro? Yes. What is your name? The one that just popped in. Oh. <laughs> what is your name? Oh, well, I thought you were talking. No, I'm, no, I'm Daniel. I'm Daniel. Daniel, Daniel. Okay, go here. Because I think I mentioned it when you were not in here. Scroll to the bottom. Take a scroll to the bottom. And then click the next. <laughs> and then go where it says module on the top left. There you go. And then what you're going to do is you're going to click on this click here. And then click load in the new window. Is everybody here so far? For those in Zoom, can you give me a thumbs up if you're here? Well, in my case, mine will automatically log into the web assign since we already used it last year. Well, I did. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so it kind of skipped that part and I'm already like logged into the web assign. Okay, which web assign, what does it say? Does it say 2414 on it? Oh, so. Yes, it does. Perfect, okay, okay. Um, then you just hit type. <laughs> okay, so if this Sengage window is up here, you're just going to exit out of this one too. And if that mind tap map pops up, do not start the tour, just exit out of that one too. We just want to get to this main screen behind all of those pop up windows. 
And then, I don't know, I guess they're doing maintenance, so they have a little notification, but it's irrelevant to you guys because it won't affect people submitting assignments. Okay. What they're doing is they're playing around with the gradebook settings for instructors. So whatever they're doing, it's not going to affect you guys. This week. Okay. Um, what I need you to do is I need you to click right here where it says Cengage Unlimited Assignment and click on that. Yes. Um, do I use uh, Slot Tweedle? Is it having you sign up for something? Oh, yeah. Do you have a Cengage account? No. Okay, then. <laughs> yeah, click create. And then go through. It should ask you for an email. And you might want to use your school email, but some people don't. It, it doesn't matter as long as you remember what it is. Um, and then here, what you're going to do is you're going to click where it says Cengage Unlimited Assignment. And then you're going to say, did you activate your Cengage? Just say yes, because that's what we're doing. And then click Save and Close or Save and Continue. Then you're going to go up to the top right. And I know, no, click where it says at the top, I'm done, great assignment now. I'm sorry for the Zoom people, you can't see that button, but it is above those two blue lines. And then click yes, grade my assignment. And then it should have a check there and you should have a hundred, right? Now what you have to do, and if you don't do this, this is what causes the problems, okay? So I hope nobody exited out of all this just yet. What I need you to do is go to the drop down arrow next to your name at the very, very top right, okay? So the very top right, it may or may not say your name, but there should be a drop down arrow and you do need to log out of this, okay? So make sure you click log out. Once it does that, we should be able to just close this window entirely. So I'm just gonna continue to close it all together. Sure. If, if it already says we're not signed in, is that gonna mess up? Okay. Then we go over and check that. So that you are, oh, you went too high. It is click here somewhere. Oh, here. It's on the left side oh. for you. That's I was going to say I have one on the left. Okay, so if your name in the drop down is on the left side, make sure you click the left side and then sign out. Yeah. <laughs> good, good. That's weird. That is different. Okay, close that window once you're done. <laughs> when you close that extra window, it should take you to um, this canvas again. You're going to click back on modules. And here's what we'll know if we did it right or not. So where is my mouse? I see it somewhere. If you try to click on this getting started with web assignment assignment and it works, then you've done everything good and you're, you're good. <laughs> if you try to do the getting started with web assign and it does anything other than take you right into the assignment, we have an issue. Okay. So if you guys are able to get here and getting started, the people in Zoom, make sure you give me a thumbs up. And for you, it won't say section 002, right? It'll say section 004 for those in Zoom. Okay, I got two thumbs up on Zoom. How many thumbs up do I have in person? Thinking. Thinking. <laughs> okay, four, five, you're good, six. I think we're just waiting on Something weird at first. I was trying to make you do a password recall. So, so that they were having. Yeah. Like, you have like a whole hour to figure it out. <laughs> no rush. You got time. Okay, yes. <laughs> So for those of you that are in the getting started assignment, I do need you to go ahead and go through it. Make sure that you read very carefully because I know there's a problem in here that if you get it wrong, we won't let you go back and fix it. So make sure that you read very, very carefully and you try to go through it. For some reason, mine is like Zoom in like big time, which is good for those that are on Zoom, but for me sitting here looking at it, it's like John Um, So just go through all of these problems 
there's nothing too, too mathematical. It's just basically showing you how the system works. Okay. I mean, literally one plus one, right? <laughs> it's not too hard. Right, right. So just keep going through that. Um, when you finish, let me know. But for the most part, I'm going to kind of be silent for a minute and let you guys worry about that. Excuse me, sorry to interrupt. No worries. This is the assignment titled uh, Getting Started with Web Design, right? Sorry, I didn't catch it at first. No, yes, we're working on that one. Okay, yeah, sorry. Every time I click on it, it keeps saying unable to log into Cengage. Okay, um, give me one second and then I'll be right there. Yes, yeah, okay, thank you. Um, yeah, I'll have you share your screen in just a bit. Um, X out there. <laughs> there it goes, there it goes, my issue. Okay. Okay, who was having an issue on the Zoom? It was me, my name is Anthony. Anthony, let me, let 
I can get my cursor to do what I need it to do. Trying to get it work on. There it goes. Ha, ha, ha. So let me give you the ability to share your screen. <laughs> now, uh, there should be, a, it might be green for you, I'm not sure, but at the bottom of your, or here, wherever your taskbar is, like for the chat, or me, all of that is that, you should see a button that says share screen. Can you do that for me? Of course. There we go. Okay, cool. And then what I need you to do is I need you to click where it says click here first. Click here. Right there. No, no, you got right it. Here. <laughs> gotcha. I want to make sure that all of this part was good and then click load. And you already did that. Now go to your name on the top left and click on sign out sign out okay now close this window nope it's behind the zoom stuff <laughs> oh yeah oh no worries then it's not that big of a deal <laughs> there we go okay now go back to module and then try the getting started Um, and then sign in. Do you have a login? Uh, yes, I created an, an account. Cool. And just in case you weren't aware, if you notice on my video, the students in the class cannot see your screen in case you're worried about privacy. Okay, that's good to know. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, if you're still able to see my screen, it says unable to sign in. Yes, um, click on need help signing in. It might make you reset your password. Gotcha. Clicked on it. Should I click on uh, forgot password? I just need to refresh it, but it'll work. Okay, try it again. And if that doesn't work, we'll go to forgot password for you. Has everyone in here finished the getting started? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, if you want, take a peek at what the 5.1 discussion looks like. Okay. You don't gotta watch the video right now, but <laughs> we just take a look at what, what it looks like. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Okay, it still didn't like to sign in. Okay, yeah, click on need help signing in and then go to forgot password. Gotcha. Type in the same email and then you will need to go check that email for link. Okay, now you can either check your email on your computer or you can check it on your phone, but uh, you definitely need to go to the email um, and then reset the password. Gotcha, taking care of it right now. I'm 10 55, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I thought it was 11 55. I was like, oh no. Missed that ball. Well, you might be able to get out earlier. Um, 
So for those of you in person, we actually are done. Um, I'm just waiting on make sure that the Zoom people or where you guys are. Um, it's easier for me to check y'all because I want to physically here right now, or then I might have to go one on one with the screen. Um, but for you guys, you are finished, so you are free to go. Just make sure that before we come in on Wednesday, that you take a look at those discussions. There's three of them, okay? So I tried to put on your little timeline, little boxes, so that basically you can like check off, right? I watched this one and I commented on that one. And so it's essentially just either a summary of something that you learned or a question because something was not right. Or even if you find an error, let me know, okay? Because I need to fix the video if there's an error. Okay. Um, I do give extra points regardless if you're Zoom or you're in person, when people find errors or correct me, I do give them one point on the test. Um, but you just have to be the first one. <laughs> so if you find an error in the video and you weren't the first one to see it or comment about it, then only that first one will get the point, okay? Um, but it helps me, right? It keeps me straight and it helps you too so that you have a point extra on your test for each one. Uh, so definitely pay attention, right? <laughs> you can find those errors. Okay, is it still not letting you in? Yes, it still gives me the same error. <laughs> okay. Um, go ahead and go to, I don't know what to do. Let me see. <laughs> go back to your canvas real quick. And go gotcha. to mod modules. And then does it let you click on 5.1 for session? 5.1? Uh, I believe so. There we go. Do that for now. Uh, not right now, but like for tonight or until tomorrow. You can work on your discussions. We'll still try to figure out how to fix your web assignment. Um, but I'm going to... Can you put in the chat your times of availability so that way we can get a meeting with the signage people to fix it? Gotcha. Do it right now. We'll just zoom with us and then they'll be able to fix it. But I have to go schedule an appointment with them. So I need your why you have a good one. I will see you on with Um for those of you in Zoom, give me a thumbs up if you finish the getting started assignment and you were able to access the 5.1 discussion. Because if you did, you are free to go for now. Yes, see you and say bye. Hopefully this computer will be as confusing. <laughs> I want to get that thing. Cool. Yes. Okay, so thank you. Pre calculus here. Yeah, no pre -calculus here. Not pre cal I have Cal 1 and Cal 2. Like oh, yeah. 2 Cal 1 and 3 Cal 2. Yes. Bye. Have a good one. Bye. I would. I mean, you can look at it if you want to, but um, it's not required. It's not too for a while. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Guys, uh, on the Zoom, if you get get time, uh, getting started, uh, get in there. <laughs> You really hired me. You have the application after application. Mark, you know why? Apparently, you have to help somebody. So, Anthony, you are free to go as well. I will get this again. I will schedule a meeting. Gotcha. I appreciate it. Okay. Maybe it was the right thing. See you Wednesday, ma'am. Bye bye. You have a good one. Uh, yeah, we're going to go to the last And then there's a part of the side again. You go to the very same. You have Cal 1. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know, very late. Cal 1 is Whatever you work in Cal 1, so much. Yeah. I mean, uh -huh. there's that. Like, I'm just going to say, gotcha, gotcha. I worked there so many years. It is. You're going to have to find our patients. Because we're going to be using like every day. Cal 1. Well, so if you have not Friday, right? I'm strong. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh, they should have, but normally they do the first two days, they go through all the yeah, yeah, yeah. See what the what what there what he asked you. Um yeah, I should have dropped it. Over. It's yeah, weird. I tried to take um a big street map and they they oh. didn't let me, but they let me to use this one. Yeah, it, well, it, did you register for this one when you were still enrolled in the other one? No, it had already finished. Then that is weird that it would let you do that. There's something going on with the system, but <laughs> <laughs> but if nothing else happens, I'll see you oh, tomorrow. Yeah, if something it, happens, so then I guess I'll see you Wednesday. <laughs> I, I was like, I case in point not. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> they have my last name wrong for two years now. Oh, no. I'm like, that's why I have so many. Like, so what name do you have? Right. Okay, then I stopped it. They, like, refused to change it. And every time they tell me they've changed it, I put, I looked everything up, and it's still there. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, though, I've been married for nine years. <laughs> <laughs> like, wow. <laughs> Like really, <laughs> the only part that's amusing is when I like go and it's an alphabetical one. I'm like, oh great, let me just sign the end. <laughs> right. Put a B for sure. Hey, wait, no, I thought I saw it. <laughs> it no, I did online or in the base order, so it's kind of dumb. Yeah. I was like, you're actually going to go to class? So I was like, yeah, I'm a little stupid. I don't care about you. Oh, <laughs> no, it's not so bad. I mean, it was hard when I was taking it, but <laughs> but I kind of like figured out how to make it easier. And I'm like, why did they teach it to me like this? So now I have the opportunity to teach it that way. They're going to be 